Hello folks, welcome to another stream that I'm doing. <laughs> this is a game called Lunacid. It has come out pretty recently, so we're doing a new game again. Um, I don't know when it came out. I think it was in early access for a while and has just released recently. And this is very much a Kingsfield-like as far as I know, I don't know too much about this game. I haven't looked up a lot or anything. The only thing I basically know is that this is a Kingsfield-like and um, it looks to be extremely my shit. So, that's why I'm gonna play this. Um, it seems to be like it is... I don't know. I've played through Kingsfield 1 like last year, I believe. Or I, I think it's actually Kingsfield 2, but the game that was released in the West at Kingsfield 1 and um, on the PlayStation. And I loved it. I had such a good time with it. You can actually check out the VODs of that on my YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash Another Dying. Um, and that was incredible. It's an incredible game. I think I had more fun with that than with any Souls game I've ever played. So uh, I'm officially a Kingsfield fan. And there's I do want to play the other Kingsfield games as well at some point. But uh, yeah, I just thought, hey, this just dropped. Let's check it out. And it seems extremely intriguing. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing this game, as you can see, in 4x3. This is 480p, actually. This is running... I'm running this on my CRT screen, which I think is extremely apropos here. That... Uh, I think that should be cool. That should be fun. Um, and, uh, yeah. Well, I think we're just going to get into it. Yeah, there's kind of like an aesthetic thing that you can pick, which basically means filters. Midnight is the standard that puts kind of like a dithering filter over the entire screen. Uh, I think I'm not going to pick that. That seems to be like a bitrate killer, if I'm honest with you. So um, there's VHS, which makes everything look extremely grungy. There's PSX, which sharpens everything and it's probably going to get us some warping textures and stuff which i like we might check that out at some point uh vapor yeah that's not uh silent that's like a silent hill thing i believe so we get the uh, very strong like film grain filter here but we're gonna go with clean for the time being i think that just is no filters and just clean polygons i like that uh let's start a new game Ominous. I've not played this yet. This is the first we're gonna see of this game. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, like aesthetically, this is extremely my thing. I love this already. Oh, yeah, look at that bird. Ooh. Hey. Hell yeah. Long ago, a great beast came from the sea and brought with it a poisonous fog that spread across the earth. Corrupting everything it reached, the poison fog slowly transformed the world and brought about a new age. Now grounded by the poison sky and outnumbered by creatures, Humankind became desperate and formed feudal kingdoms. Closed off from each other, they became paranoid and are on the brink of extinction. This is so from software. Those <laughs> undesirable, such as criminals or the ill, are cast out. Banished into the depths of the great well. 
a pit of the diseased and undead. The great well is said to have but one door to the surface. Yeah, I can see where this is going. This wears its influences on the sleeve. Um, I don't mind that. I think that's cool. You know? And like From Software isn't making Kingsfield likes anymore, so why not? I think Dark Souls 2 was probably the most Kingsfield like game they made in the last decades. So, yeah, I'm into this already. This also kind of nails the style. Ooh, hello. <laughs> that guy doesn't look healthy. Oh. Is that us? Was that us? Yeah, this really nails the aesthetic. Oh. Okay. We got 16 by 9 UI. So it's not entirely... It's fine. Okay, so now we're creating a character, huh? Just gonna take my own name. Beauty. Oh, well, that's what we look like, huh? Oh, I like that it's called Beauty. That's so nice. Okay. Um, what are we gonna look like? This? Interesting portrait style going on here. Oh yeah. How about this? This is great. Um, now what am I gonna pick? Maybe this? This would be... Oh, that was the doorbell. Uh, I'm gonna be back in just a second, I'm sorry. That was just the mail. Hello, Biadoc. How's it going? Okay, um, I think this works. This is too anime for me, I think. I oh, know, it's just too cute. I don't like that. Um, this is cool. I like this one. I think we might pick this one, actually. This looks like Castlevania to me. This looks like a Castlevania protagonist. Okay, so this text here is not really... Um... It's not really, like... Translating well to my screen resolution here. We might have some issues with that. If that doesn't work out, uh, we're gonna go full 16x9 at some point. But for now, let's see how this works out. Um, okay. Preset. I like this one. We're going to pick this one. The key could, what was that? Like custom? External image. You can put like your own portrait in here. I like that. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. I didn't know this was in the game, so... We're going to go with this. Class. Um, thief, Knight, Witch, Vampire, Undead, Royal, Cleric, Shinobi, Forsaken. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is extremely Souls-ish. Like this is sort of the Dark Souls thing, right? You could pick the the naked character that has everything at one. There's Thief, which has everything as at five. This seems to be like a cool, good starting sort of blank slate. The Thief. Also, we were called a Thief, so it might be apropos to pick the Thief. Knight. It's kind of a strength and defense character. Everything else is not that much. What's res? Resistance? I don't know. Uh, the witch is an intelligence character. Magic user, I guess. Vampire. Uh-huh. Undead. Discarded corpse, yeah. 
Child of noble birth. Seems also interesting. Cleric. Yeah, strength and intelligence, basically. Classic cleric, yeah. Shinobi is a... Yeah, speedy. Speed and dex... This speed and dexterity, whatever that means. Also, sorry for my voice. Um, I've been really sick recently. Very recently. And I'm just, com just now coming back from it. I think my voice is still a little weird, so... Sorry about that. Um... I think we're just going to pick the thief. I think that's a good like blank slate all rounder for someone who doesn't know what we're what I'm doing. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Let's go with they them. Um, beginning stats. Yeah. Okay. These are maybe resistances against like elements or whatever. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, I think that works. Let's finalize creation. Let's have our 16x9 loading screen. I hope this works well in the game. So this is our hand. The Hollow Basin. Okay, so we have, as opposed to Kingsfield, we have a nice sort of mouse and keyboard control scheme here. That's good. Mm, this actually feels really good. Like, so this doesn't control as clunkily as Kingsfield does. I really got used to Kingsfield, so... Okay, so... <clears throat> this is us. Jay, the level 5 thief. Doesn't really look like me, I guess, but it's fine. I'm, I'm usually not playing as myself anyways, but... We're gonna be Jay now. <laughs> level 5, 0% experience, no silver. There's a lunacy stat, whatever that means. Weapons, magic rings, quick items. Okay, notes, materials, game manual. Oh, we have a manual. Okay, <laughs> the resolution is too low to actually see anything here, which is going to be interesting. Okay, FOV, uh, right hand, aesthetic. Okay, that's all that. All right, okay. Some beautiful flowers down in this well. Is this like the bottom of the well that we... It isn't, right? This is not where we were dropped down. Interesting. I still have like some throat stuff. So if I get some nasty coughs in the over the course of this, I apologize. Okay, this is very dark. I hope this comes across on video. We're gonna see. We're gonna see... Mm. Dank corridors. Ooh. Hey. Lost cave. That's good music. Okay, there's a sword here. Replica sword acquired. No, yeah, there we go. There's weapon XP, so we can level up weapons. I guess. Interesting. Okay. All right, there's kind of a, it's not stamina, it is kind of a, can build up strength and then hit. Okay, we have a block, that it, that's it. Ah, okay, so we can warp. This is the fast travel system. Save crystal, let's save. And we can level up here. Okay, so these are the all purpose like bonfire-ish things in this game. Okay. Ah, oh, this is so Kingsfield. Also, I like that our hand is disembodied and that the game actually has like an in-universe, like an in-game explanation why our hand is disembodied. Really good. I like this. Okay. Seek the slumbering creature of moonlight. They are the last existing door. Okay. I guess we're trying to get out of this well, right? This is our main... Oh, this is the well. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Can we destroy these? Yes, we can. What is this? Can I pick this up? Ah, ashes. Okay. It's 
So, there can be stuff inside these containers. Good to know. River of Death. Okay, there was another... Oh, hello. Hmm. That has been there for a while. There's already, like, multiple paths to take. That's very good. This is so Kingsfield. I, it's kind of interesting. Like, the fidelity of this is a little bit... Like, it is very PS1-ish. But it is kind of higher fidelity than the PS1 Kingsfield is. Like, the PS1 Kingsfield is very... is very boxy, right? It's very sort of boxy walls and stuff. Very right angle-ish. So the PS1 Kingsfield is even more low fidelity than this is. Okay, there's like an interesting door here. But we cannot go through. Okay. That's good! You know, it's always good to close off options in these games. Um, I wonder what... Oh, we're actually already getting weapon XP from... Breaking the... Breaking the things? Breaking the... Does this give us anything? No. I think the meter on the top right the 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 cyan meter there i think that's weapon xp probably i don't know we're gonna see we actually do have a reticle that is extremely hard to see in the middle of the screen which is cool okay do the weapons have like it doesn't seem to be any no not an elegant weapon by any means, but better than nothing. An expertly expertly sculpted piece of stone resemble the steel longsword of the castle guard. Okay, interesting. That's why it's a replica, huh? Um, yeah, it looks very stony. Huh. Yeah, I like this. This is great. Oh, this is great. This is extremely my thing. Oh, there's a snail. Is that our first enemy? Looks like it. Yeah. Dropped two whatever, two cents. I don't know. Is that like silver? Yeah, that's silver. Okay. Awesome. This is also not as unforgiving as Kingsfield was, like, so far. Like, the beginning of Kingsfield on the PlayStation was rough. Like, that really did a number on you. Temple of Silence, Hollow Basin, that's where we came from, huh? Oh, it's actually running from me now. Okay. Do we get experience? Yeah, we do as well. What is this? Health vial, okay. That probably just heals us. Materials, ashes. Okay. Don't know what that does. Quick items, health vial. <coughs> Recovers the drinker's vitality, okay. Mm-hmm. So let's put that in there. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, those are the... Actually, yeah, physics. There's like... Those objects. There's some physics-y stuff going on there. I think I'm walking... No, I'm not walking backwards now. Where am I? I'm already losing... Already losing myself, that's good. Okay. Yeah, right, this is this area. Right, I didn't go here. This is what I wanted to check out. Before we go to the other place. Oh no, I did go here. What am I, what am I thinking about? What am I thinking of? Wait, wasn't there like a door? I think this might just be a loop here. Might just be a looping area. 
Like over there? Did I not go there? Oh no, I didn't go here. Eh, whatever. No, it's a looping area. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you know? I'm not always good at this. Okay, so we need a key for this. Alright. Keep checking it out. Hollow base and temple of silence. So we definitely cannot go there yet. Um, now I'm actually starting to get confused. Very early in this. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. I do like the music a lot. This is great. Okay. Ah. This is the path we hadn't taken yet. There we go. Just kind of withers away. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to play a lot of this. What are these snails here? Two more silver. This is a different... Oh, there's a big snail. Milk snail, okay. Yeah, the, the combat feels very Kingsfield. We're actually doing damage if we hit the shell, just not as much, okay. There we go. Icicle, okay. We can level up weapons, that's interesting. Curved Icy Blade, some lost form of ice magic, that's cool. Um, more backstab? Backstep? I don't know what that means. Okay, this one doesn't level up, apparently. So it's a strong starting weapon that doesn't level up, I guess? Okay. Interesting. I do wonder if we should keep leveling up. I think I'm going to keep leveling up the replica sword. Yeah, this does not have weapon XP. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Hello. Ooh. This is a beautiful game. I like this. Like the music and everything. I don't know what this over there is. I'm gonna see. I like everything about this, like the music and the visuals. Oh, I don't like you. A shulker. Was well, I supposed to attack you? I don't know. Probably. Like, it doesn't look like it's friendly. Alright. <clears throat> I think that is, that is the hollow basin, right? That we're in right now? And these insectoid enemies here. Okay. Yeah, there's again a bunch of ways we can go here. Doesn't seem to be anything here, though. Okay. I like this area. I wonder if you can get enemies to respawn in this. Like in Kingsfield, I think they just respawn after a while. Or maybe they do the souls thing, where you... Where using the crystals will respawn enemies. Or maybe there aren't any respawns, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Okay. I like how immediately labyrinthine this is. Okay. 
there's kind of like a feature of the wall texture like this here that repeats often and that always looks like something to me like a <coughs> like a I don't know, like an inscription or something. I always like my brain always attaches to that. I was like, hey, there's something there. Okay, this takes us somewhere. Hmm, like a big cavern. This looks like a chest that we might open. Yep. Flame spear. Okay. That's a magic ring, yeah. Fires a flaming javelin. A weaponized form of pyromancy created by the fire witch Ashley. Okay. Costs 10, cast time, damage 16. I don't know. Okay. Oh, we're gonna see. Oh, there's a person there. Are you friendly? Yes, you are. Well, you look a little lost. Hollow Basin, it's the highest... I don't know about the art style of this, but okay, whatever. The highest reached point of the Great Well. Safest areas of the Great Well. Wings rest, okay. Spirit you there. No. Okay. Okay, we're going to do that at some point. I just want to... I'm just want, I just want to check it out. This opens the door. Does this take us back to... Is this the place that we see? Like the start? I wonder. Yep, it is. Okay, I see the structure of this. I see what this is doing. Okay, let's save. Uh, we can, oh yeah, we can level up. We have sk it gives us skill points for leveling up, huh? Are we going to be a strength-based character? Damage, yeah. Defines maximum health and damage done with melee weapons, okay. Defense, maximum health can be blocked before your guard is broken, okay, that's good. Maximum running speed, that's speed, okay. Jump height and damage done with ranged weapons, okay. Intelligence, maximum mana, spell damage, how fast spell charge. And that is resistance. Status effects take to wear off. Okay. Yeah, let's put a bunch of stuff in strength. Yeah, let's do like some strength and defense. Okay, I wonder how specialized we should be. I might actually like, you know, playing with like a Kingsfield, like I never liked using magic all that much in that. So... I wonder if at some point we reach like diminishing returns. Yeah, let's just do this for now. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah, let's finish leveling. Okay, we leveled up. Now I'm actually curious if this Okay, and we can warp. Now I'm actually curious if this um, <clears throat> respawned enemies and stuff. Okay, but we've created our first shortcut, I guess. So she over here will warp us to something. A safe spot, I guess. It's gonna be the Firelink Shrine of this game, I guess. Like, Kingsfield also had, like, villagers and stuff that were basically safe. So that makes sense. It took you a while to actually get to one, though. <coughs> Before we let her warp us, uh, let's just keep exploring a little bit. There's a bunch of areas over here in the basin that we haven't explored yet. So... I do kind of want to... I like to get a lay of the land in these games, essentially. <sighs> Alright. So there was nothing there. Um, there were multiple paths here, right? We just... 
we had just taken this one, but there's like a little cave here. So let's check that one out. Or is that? No. Am I walking backwards again? Sorry. For some reason my brain is just not doing anything right now. Is that the tunnel towards the... It is, right? It is. I'm just stupid. Yeah, it is. Come on, Jay. Okay. Let's go back. I think I just need to adjust my brain to playing this type of game again. You know, since Kingsfield, I haven't really played a game like this, so... Alright, what have we got? Big empty thing? Ah, there's something here. Oh, it's another health vial. Good. Let's get that. Okay, I think that's what we could find here. But there was more stuff around here. So back here, I think there was another path. I think this is the way we came from, but we haven't explored over here. Also, um, using the safe crystal does not respawn enemies. So maybe it's a timed respawn, or maybe there aren't any respawns. I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, the weapon has just about leveled up. Or has leveled up. You know, if, hmm. This enables us to do anything with it. I mean, it just says new now here. But. Huh. I don't know. Okay, there's another ring. Ghost light. Spectral orb of light that follows the cut of 60 seconds. Illuminating the depth of the well. Okay, that seems useful. Um, oh, shit. Okay, that's that. <coughs> okay. Wait, can I do this? Ah, now we can quickly switch. Oh, that's cool. That's a mana vial. Good. Oh. <coughs> oh, yeah. My throat is not doing well yet. But, you know, a nice little six stream. Why not? Okay. How do I use magic? Compass style. Simple. Okay. King? Is that Kingsfield compass style? Oh, there's a difficulty setting actually. Rebind controls. Can I not do that? Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, <laughs> rebind controls just opens the notepad. Okay. Um, C and V are the magic buttons. Okay, cool. That's just what I wanted to know. Okay, inventory is tab. Yeah. Use item is two. Next item is three. I see. Activate is E. Okay, cool. <laughs> like rebind controls just opens an any file with the, with the notepad. Yeah, right? Like, this seems extremely cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm very into it. This is so Kingsfield. And I like that kind of game. Um, what, what, are, yeah, compass. What's the compass? Oh yeah, simple compass. What does... 
What does King look like? Ah. Yeah. I think having a compass is probably good. We might keep that active. Yeah, maybe this one. Yeah, let's let's use this one. Okay. I think we're done here. So now we can do this and that. Ah. Can cast ghost light. I see. Okay. That's pretty cool. That costs some mana. Okay, and that increases our lunacy. So using magic increases lunacy, huh? Okay. Wonder if we can get that down again. Somehow. Probably, right? Is this the... Oh. I think this is where we came from. Right? What am I doing? Am I going the right way? What am I doing? I've I've lost my way again. Constantly. Okay. All right, back out here. All right. No, this is where we found the two items. Yes. Okay. Jesus Christ, Jay. Oh, this is. This does not bode well for the rest of me playing through this game. But we're gonna see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right, there's nothing here. For some reason, I feel like I had less of a problem with that in Kingsfield than this. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my brain is not in the right spot right now. Okay. Yeah, I think it was 60 seconds that this thing worked. Okay. Yeah, now we're back here. That's good. Um, I think that's mostly what we can do right now. I did want to go back to the crystal real quick and see if I can level up my sword. Or maybe we need to do something else. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be another path here from here. So I guess we just need to have her warp us and continue from there. Okay, we cannot level up here. Maybe we need to find like a smith or something like that. Hey, Jay. Yeah, let's go to Wig's Rest. Gotcha. One moment. Ah, wings rest. Here we are. Ah, nice. Crystal shard acquired. Is that a material? Oh, and now we can... Ah, now we have another crystal. and I think we can just warp, right? Yep. Between the two. Okay. Ah, nice. Oh, the music is so good. Oh, this is incredible. Hello. It worked. Last time I tried that spell, it only worked about halfway. Wings Rest. It's an old temple of swords made by a sect of holy monks. Oh, the music is fantastic. They were banished into the Great, great Well back during the Crusades. <coughs> Although they are long gone, their protective magic still lingers. Take your time and relax here. If you want to head back out, use the crystal where you came in. Okay. Oh yeah. Now oh, this is where we got the shops and stuff, huh? <laughs> Salutations, Outlander. Welcome to the depths. I'm Etna. I study the sacred art of alchemy down here. Materials, you should bring them to me. Yeah. Okay. Formulas. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So we have ashes and that's all we have, huh? Formulas. Okay, health vial. Opal, yellow moral and a lotus seed pod. Okay. Crystal shard. Transfuse a snowflake obsidian, onyx and obsidian. Okay. 
Antidote, Angel Mushrooms, and the Lotus Seed Pod. Huh, that's cool. Okay, we basically have nothing. This probably does nothing, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah, interesting. Like a crafting system in this. Oh, oh, I love. Oh, you are actually. Hey. Clive. Hey, Clive. My friend. Dread Delusion. I've seen that, yeah. Um, it's an open world RPG. It's more like a Morrowind like, right? That also seemed extremely interesting. Call me Clive, but that's not really my name. I seem to have lost it. My memory isn't quite what it used to be. Yeah, yeah. Don't just seem to have lost your memory, man. My bones is good. I stay young by drinking these little health tonics. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, be careful wandering the, de the depths. Not everything out there is as peaceful as a skeleton. Hey, friend. I like you. I like Clive. Clive's my buddy. Enhance. Aha! Heritage sword. Ah, okay. Ooh, now it's much better, actually. Okay, and it doesn't actually level any further. Now we we have an actual steel longsword. Ooh. Ah, that's cool. Okay, but this is where we do it, huh? In the oil. Weapon cannot be enhanced. Okay. So it's not like a um, leveling up thing. It's more like a single enhancement. The moon cried to us in our time of need. Hey. Moon. That's the moon. It's a bit goopy. Okay, who are you? Oh, what a mess you've been caught up in. Welcome to the depths. Escape to the outworld has long been a myth. Ka 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 ka. Is that a laughing? Probably. Why not prepare yourself? A new trinket, yes? Okay, we can buy stuff here. Like an enchanted key, health vials, a rapier, steel needle, a crossbow, health vial, mana vial, antidote. I think I should probably get the key. I think with that we might actually be able to go to the uh, to the te what was that temple of something? Oh, I love the music in this. Oh, this is where that guy is sleeping, I guess. Okay. Yeah, this is just extremely my my kind of stuff, this game. Okay. Hello. Hey, Jay. Yeah. Okay. So now we can go back. I think what we need to do is, first of all, we're going to save. Let's walk back to the hollow basin. Yes. Um... I think now we need to go to the one to the to the door. I wonder if we can use the key to open that. The door was somewhere around here. Okay, dropping down there is probably a bad idea, right? Okay, stuff has respawned. Like just those. Now we can get more stuff out of it, okay. But like the... I wonder if the enemies have also respawned now. Hmm. I don't see any snails around. Oh yeah, there's a snail. Okay, so enemies do respawn. I wonder if that's a timed thing. Like in Kingsfield that also wasn't entirely clear, but uh, yeah. So you can theoretically grind in this. Maybe it's a warping away thing. Oops, somebody's playing Path of Exile. Why does this actually show up? I need to turn off those notifications. 
Yeah, that sword is much better now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, everything has respawned, huh? Yeah, well, we can level up again now. Yeah, we are 141 XP. Yeah, this takes us back down to the base and... Um, I believe... Yeah, those things are back as well. I wonder if it's like warping to the sanctuary that does it. I'm actually not going to the right place because uh, I think it was before the basin actually where the where the door was yeah this just takes me back here yeah that was dumb um yeah I think my cold ridden brain is not yet uh, handling this super well okay now she's gone because she's now at the sanctuary thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna need to do... Yeah, let's level up. Okay, we got two level ups again. And we have six skill points. I guess we're just going... I wonder if there... Yeah, I wonder if there's going to be like diminishing returns on this at some point. Get some speed going. Yeah, like this, I guess. Yep. <laughs> yeah, my cold ridden brain is not really handling finding my way in this super well, I guess. Okay. There was a way towards... It was somewhere around here. Hey, I actually got hit for once. Okay. Yeah, this is where, where I wanted to be. So I wonder if we can open this door now. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, ooh. Ooh, that was juicier than I expected. I didn't like that. <coughs> okay. What's this? A torch. Oh, the torch has weapon XP. Really does do a lot of damage though. Maybe we should actually use the torch for stuff. Just to level it up? I don't know. That's nice, having a torch. But yeah, Dread Delusion, I need to... That's also been on my list of new games to check out. I just decided on Lunacid f first, because it's, uh, you know, it's a more Kingsfield-like game, which is what I'm currently... I kind of got into Kingsfield a lot, so... Yeah, destroying these things actually levels... Yeah, g gives us weapon XP. That's good. 
<laughs> what is this? Okay. Now, well, let's just use the torch to destroy everything, I guess. Ashes. Yep. Good. Yeah, now we are in some kind of dank temple. Yeah, that little witch kobold thing said that the basin was the safest place outside of uh, the safe haven. So, we're probably gonna get into trouble soon. You don't have any face, okay. Yeah, this seems like it's gonna get more dangerous. Which is good. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, it's not like a... I thought this was just like a... Like a cowl, right? But it's it's the head. It's not like a. Oh jeez, they're just missing all of their head. Yeah, sorry that happened to you, bro. Okay. Ooh. Let's just stick the torch in there. That's. Okay, hey, there's another health vial. Good. This does not seem to use the Estus flask system. These just seem to be consumables, I will. But I'm not sure. Silver, good. And ashes. Okay, a bunch of closed doors again. And a lot of dead people. This is very ominous. Okay. Don't seem to be any. You know the. Hello, Iraq. Rajak. <laughs> good day. Yeah, good day. Nice to see you too. How's it going? Okay, oh, there's a book. Soon we'll be, we'll be free of the accursed well, for great prophet Abdul has found a way out. While we are tethered here physically, our minds can be extricated with enlightenment. Yeah, this gives me strong cold vibes. Like this probably did not go super well for them. Especially on account of the whole, like, missing your face kind of thing, you know? Okay. Oh, did I hurt myself? I think so. I just set myself on fire there. Okay, there's something to pick up. Yeah. We're almost about to level up our torch just from. Ooh, a ritual dagger. So this is our torch heritage sword, yeah. The ritual dagger, okay, the ritual dagger we can also not level up. Interesting. It seems to be kind of weak as well. <coughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's a high speed weapon. Okay, for now I'm just going to use the torch because I can level it up essentially. It doesn't seem to run out or anything, which is good. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> drop down here? I guess we're gonna do that. Okay, I think now we have no way back unless we find another crystal. Which, you know? 
Or does this just let us go back? Yeah, this just lets us go back. This is just the door that we have. Okay. Oh, hello. You are... Okay, that is an enemy, right? Yeah. A mummy, okay. Let me just torch you then. This torch is really not very good, but... Maybe just cheese them a little bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, I've been poisoned. Crap. I don't have any antidote. Yeah, the torch is really not a good weapon. I'm just doing this to level it up, essentially. Ah! The poison again. Apparently the poison does not last very long, and it's not very potent, so that's good. You're on fire now. And you're dead now. Very good. Yeah. I'm just using the torch to level it up, essentially. Yeah, this also does not seem to be a way back, as I thought it would. So... Ah, this gives us a bunch of stuff to explore. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I'm just going to use... Oh. My heritage sword. Ah! Crap. Yeah, that does more damage. I will oh Jesus you lost your head again all right <clears throat> I wonder what these things are okay there's a health vial up there but I don't know how to get it can we jump up this yeah we can ha that worked felt a bit cheesy but it worked Okay, let me just go back real quick, because, okay, this is where, yeah, right, this is what we opened. Okay, so. We got a full weapon XP on the torch. So let's use the sword again. Okay. Lithomancy, okay. Forbidden blood magic that gives life to the inanimate. The object's only... <laughs> oh god. Unable to <laughs> comprehend existence, the object's only scream. Yeah, you know, just pepper a little bit of existential nightmare into this. Cheated by Mad Wizard Abdul. They created by Mad Wizard Abdul before his exile. It is unknown what the purpose of this spell was. Okay, now we have it. Maybe we need to use it at some point. To hunger is to live, to consume is to die. Okay. I think that's what these guys were doing, huh? Seem to be kind of like a starvation cult or whatever. That's kind of like a like a hmm. That's a thing that they are worshipping. Like an ammonite or something. Looks like a fossil, I guess. <laughs> Alright, but we do have to go through that door. Oh, this is also... Magic spell? No. Okay. We're already ready to level up. Like, leveling up is quick at the start of this game. Um, is that where we had been already? Oh no. This guy has a sword. Okay. Now, this is not where we had been. This look just looks very similar. 
but uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to keep exploring this area then. Right, this is where we found the health vial, and not that didn't really lead to anything else. Okay, this is just a room with a guy in it. Ah, Jesus. Now we're losing a bunch of health. Need to be careful about that. It appears the brain was removed, but the wounds were inflicted within the skull itself. It looks like the brain carved its own way out. Okay, that's what's been happening to you? Uh-huh. Good. Fantastic. Oh, there's a hidden door. Okay, this is definitely like a temple-like area now. Um, before we explore this, let's just go back a little bit and explore the rest of this sort of blue area. Yeah, this is cool. This really nails what it's going for. Like, they they picked a thing and were like, okay, that's what we're doing. And they're doing it. Okay. More mummies around here. I do kind of wonder if this is the place that we came in through. It kind of looks like it. Just populated with enemies now. Okay, that's the head gone. Very good. And, okay, they do drop mana vials. That's great. Okay. Oh, Jesus. There's so many places to go. Like, that very specific kind of being overwhelmed, you know, where... Like, there's just 3,000 paths to take. I remember feeling that a lot in Kingsfield as well. But it's still, like, this still looks like the place we came in. Maybe just those gates have opened now? All of them? I don't know. Hmm. Is this, is this... Yeah, this might be the way out again, huh? Which is good. Because that means there's going to be a crystal. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Interesting. So it, I think it just repopulated... Like it opened the gates and repopulated the starting area. Or not repopulated, but populated the starting area. Yeah, and now we're back here. Okay. That's good to know. So, uh, we're gonna go back down there and explore the thing properly. Before we do that, though, I'm going to go to the safe crystal. We're gonna level up, and I'm going to level up the torch. Yeah, I'm gonna be lost a lot in this game, but I actually kind of like that. Yeah, there we go. So let's level up. We're level 10. Three more skill points. What did Dex do again? Jump height and damage done. Yeah. Let's get some more speed points to get that mov movement speed up. Let's save and let's warp back to the sanctuary thing. Wings rest. Where we can rest our wings. Okay. Ah, oh, this is like a good sanctuary area. Just in general. Like this rules. Okay. Where was the oil? I think it was back here. Yeah. Yes, let's enhance the weapon. Iron Torch created. Okay, cool. So what what does the Iron Torch do? It does a bit more damage. Yeah, and it's also, again, one level up. Um, it's not like it's become a good weapon or anything. 
It's just worse than the... I mean, it's got... It has some thrust damage, I guess. Like, definitely more than the Heritage Sword. Okay. Oh. Cheryl the Crow. I like... I like that, actually. Okay. We could buy the rapier. Should I do it? Yeah, let's do it. Thin and light piercing sword made out, out of steel. Not a lot of damage, but a lot of thrust. I wonder, like, how that c is calculated. <coughs> okay. wonder if we can level it up as well. Yeah, we can. So... Let's do rapier and the, and the torch. So it's less damage, definitely, uh, but more reach and like a high thrust stat. I don't know what that actually means, but yeah. Hey you, you have anything to say? Oh, 50 gold. Uh, silver, I mean. Okay, it's good to talk to them again and again. Good, all right. Let's walk back to the basin and let's go back to the temple. Okay. Um, so. Yep. I guess now we're starting to destroy all the stuff again. Oh yeah, like we actually like it actually moves us forward a bit. Maybe that's the thrust thing? That's interesting. Okay, now I just need to find the thing again. I think it was over here, yeah. Alright. Temple of Silence. Ah, I guess they have silenced themselves. I wonder where all those brains have gone. All right. And I think, yeah, things have respawned now. I think going back to Wings Rest respawns stuff, I guess. That's my working theory now. For now, for the time being. We're gonna see. Yeah. Things get ominous again. I'm gonna break stuff just to level those weapons. You know? And get some stuff. Found a lot of ashes now. I I've had you know it's a material, but there's nothing yet that uses ashes. yet no recipe that we know so wonder what they are for okay yeah it's time to explore this temple now yeah i think these are these gates were closed before Okay, we can backstab, backstab, that's what that is. Like we can thrust forward and backstab by blocking. Oh. The AOE was still going. Jesus. Okay, I took way too much damage here. I don't know if I'm into that rapier all that much, but... Okay, yeah, this is this area. Hey, you. Are you an enemy? Yes, you are. Ah! Hmm. 
let's try that spell. Okay, I see what this is. That's the head gone. Oh Jesus, these, these don't mess around. Costs us a lot of health. Okay, so we have this kind of river like area. Is this where we came in there? Yeah, it is. I guess we're gonna go back there at some point. Still want to explore this place before we do that. Yeah, I'm not happy about my health situation now. Took way too much damage from that. Ten gold. I mean, you can kind of farm gold and buy. Oh, oh! I destroyed the torch. Okay, you can do that. Oh, jeez, there's another one. Shit! Shit! Shit, 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 <laughs> uh, Health vial. Equip. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, it doesn't actually pause. Okay. Um, yes, I'm playing on the CRT now. New game on an old CRT. In 640 by 480. Okay. Uh, we're back to Wing's Rest. Huh. Have anything? No. That's when we last saved. Okay, cool. Yeah. With the rapier, we might try to just level up the rapier by... Um... We might try to just level up the rapier by breaking the stuff. Because I think I want to keep using the heritage sword against the against the enemies. Hey, that's our first death. Maybe I need to get the death counter going again, like I did in Kingsfield. I mean, it's just one so far. So okay, all right. Let's do this again. Yeah, at some point I've um, set up my set up an old uh, CRT screen on my modern computer, which works super well. Like it's awesome for playing old games. Like a lot of old games work a lot better when you have a screen that is just running at a 640 by 480 resolution. And doesn't have to scale or anything, so a lot of games that I just couldn't get running on my modern computer just run perfectly fine. When I'm just running it on this CRT. Hello, Cammy. So, yeah. I'm just using, like, this is a Samsung sort of consumer CRT model. Like, it's not anything high-end or anything. But, um... I've been liking using this a lot. Like, one of the cool things that it does is, um... Like, you know, it has kind of a high refresh rate. So, um... Right now, you could, I'm streaming at 60 FPS, so you can't really see it, but like I'm running this, it's running at 120 now, and it's like really nice and smooth, and because the CRT doesn't really have lag, like it's instantaneous, um, 
Like it's also responsive. It just it just feels really good to play games on this. So um, and it just feels right, especially for like retro start things. Yeah, you can't get them anymore. They're not produced anymore, and they won't be. You know, that's one of the things. There's like we have the amount of CRTs that we have, and that's it. And they are not made forever, so at some point they're just going away. But as long as this one is working, I am gonna enjoy it. And it's in pretty good shape. So... Oh no, I need to do this with the rapier. But yeah, like it's... Like... You know, I haven't used a CRT since like 2002 or whatever. Um, and this one I just got for nothing, right? Like, it was just it was kind of like an office that was throwing stuff out. And uh, I was like, hey, I'm going to take this. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get like, you know, I didn't pay anything for it. Which is good. I'm basically just happy I was taking it off their hands. You know, sometimes you can get stuff like that, yeah. And it's it's nice. It's really nice. So yeah, I'm just going to enjoy it while it lasts, and I'm going to take good care of it. Yeah, but like, um, at some point they're going away, right? Like, they're not built forever. Like, at some point the the phosphors that do actually the, that do the lighting up of the screen, um, they degrade after a while, after use, with use, right? So uh, at some point we're just not going to have CRTs anymore. That's just a thing that's gonna happen, because they're not gonna be built anymore, right? Like, you can't, um... This is not like a niche thing where you can just spin up a production again and just have a company that makes CRTs. Because it's just too expensive to do, right? So there's, it would only make sense to do this again for mass market stuff, but there's no mass market for CRTs anymore, so... Like... In all likelihood, it's just not going to happen that these are ever going to be produced again. Which, you know, is a bit of a shame, because it's like, it's cool. Like, we definitely... Like, there's something we lost in the transition to flat screens. Oh, Mummy Knight. Yeah, I haven't fought one of these yet. There's another normal mummy there. Okay. Onyx acquired. Okay, we needed Onyx for something. Uh, like, just the overall, like, responsiveness of this thing is kind of great. It's kind of incredible. So, yeah. I mean, it's like one of the things that I think one of the Digital Foundry guys has have uh, has said this, where um, like we stopped using CRTs like in the early two thousands, like in two thousand one, two, something about that. Like you know, I think I got my first sort of. TFT flat screen. I still have it actually. It's way over there. It's a shitty screen. Like it's a really bad ghosting crappy screen that scales really badly and everything and has like input lag up the wazoo. But we stopped using CRTs before we had computers that could really get the most out of it. Right? So um, like I remember back in the day like with my old sort of Windows 98 machine when I was still using a CRT, I, uh, you know, like I played games with like, like 20 FPS was enough for me, right? 
So, hooking up a CRT monitor to my modern computer here and being able to play games at like, like this goes up to like 160 hertz with again zero millisecond input lag and everything and that just kind of feels amazing like there's sort of a motion clarity there that you just don't get even with high refresh rate LCD screens So, I don't know. Like, I feel like we never really actually... Yeah, we never really got the full potential of... Uh, got to the full potential of CRT screens. But yeah, it's super fun to do now. But man, those early, like, you know, again, I have like a, it's a 5x4, 19 inch TFT display, and that thing is a piece of crap. I still have it, I, I kind of like using it, because there's something, I like using bad hardware <laughs> in a weird way, because I'm a, because I'm a, I don't know, I'm a weird nerd. <laughs> but uh, it's not good. Like you don't want to be playing like fast paced shooters or whatever on that thing. It's ghosting so much, like the motion is so bad on that thing. But like back in the day it seemed like an upgrade, right? Just because it was a flat screen. And um, I also got it at a point when I was, wasn't really playing games anymore on computers. Like, I, I had, like, from... I had, like, in the mid-2000s, I had, like, that was, like, half a decade when I was just, like, not playing games anymore, really. Like, video games, computer games. I just kind of got out of it. Like, from 2003 to... maybe 2008, 9... I just kind of not... you know, I just kind of fell out of games. And I slowly got back in after that. I guess I would sometimes play Counter-Strike, I guess, and some roguelikes, like NetHack and Counter-Strike were sort of the only games I played for like five years. And just like casually, right? Except that we would play Counter-Strike with friends. Like the, you know, the, the original Half-Life Counter-Strike, I mean. And uh, yeah, basically just I would sometimes play NetHack, just for funsies, as university, like, at a boring lecture, I would just play some NetHack. <laughs> so... That was, again, like, then much later that I sort of got back into playing games again. Sort of. Actually, university is wrong. Like, university was later, but sort of the latter years of high school, essentially. Yeah, this sword is much better against these enemies. Okay. And maybe the leveled up rapier is good. We're gonna see. Again. I'm gonna destroy a bunch of, like, vases with that. Ow, oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, there's another one. There's a lot of these folks here. A lot of these mummies. But yeah, that's mainly also the reason why I probably just didn't notice that the, TF the TFT screen that I was using was so much worse for playing games on it than the CRT I had before it, right? It was just like, okay, the, TRT the CRTs are just chunky 
things that take up a lot of space on your desk. And just having a flat screen was in itself seemed like an upgrade, you know? And it was. Like, actually, it was sort of for, um, for using... You know, for like, I was mostly just using the PC for like word processing and internet, and for that, like, using a flat screen was better. Like, was straight up better. You know, like you don't have the. It's just better for your eyes, kind of, to not have the refresh flicker and stuff like that. I guess it just felt nicer, you know. But like for playing games. CRT all the way. Aha, uh -huh, what do we have here? Blood wine. What does that do? Blood wine. Wine made from fermented blood. A delicacy in aristocratic and vampiric circles. Yeah. Restores one's blood and health if vampiric, otherwise poisonous. Okay, so we are not a vampire. So let's not use that. I wonder if we can become a vampire. There's something that can happen over the course of the game. Also like that we again have like... Oh, we are at 507% XP. We can get a lot of level ups. Is this open? No. Also we have like 19 places to go again, which... Oh jeez, I don't like these crawling mummies. Yeah, it's better with a sword. Okay. It's very green over here. It's extremely dark. I hope you can see stuff on the on on stream. Let's use the torch again. You know, we're going to do the rapier later. Like leveling that up. Just so that we can see stuff. Okay, what is this? Is this dangerous? Is this bad? Eh? Hey? Oh! Mirage re revealed. Ooh, this takes us back here, huh? Hmm. I think. I think that's what's going on here. We should just kind of make it more confusing. Yeah, this is like yeah, this is the starting area here. I think over there to the right is sort of the river area. Yes, it is. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's also the thing. Like, if you go high refresh rate, it's better. But of course I'm not doing any, like, browsing or anything. I'm just using this to play games. But if you go, like... Again, I'm playing this at 120 Hz right now. And... That's nice on the eyes. Actually. It's not that bad. But yeah. Like, I wouldn't do any browsing on this thing. Also, you know, like, the resolution is pretty low, so... <laughs> well, like, one of the weird things about CRTs is that, like, going low res actually doesn't matter all that much. Like, it... Like, it looks crisp. Like, 640 by 480 looks crisp on this. It's not... The reason why we think low resolutions look bad is because LCD screens have bad scalers in them, right? And it scales things up weird when you are not on a native resolution of the screen. Oh, a wooden shield. How does this work? How does this work? Okay, the wooden shield is here. Interesting. So you can't use it at the same time? That's fun. Oh, yeah, we just have one hand, huh? Um, normally used in the offhand. Paired with a sword. But how? 
No? It's just one or the other. It's weird. Okay. Huh. Alright, what can we read here? Long ago I heard tales of Abdul and his temple. How they managed to reach enlightenment and escape. But they're still here, or at least their bodies are. Yeah, I, I guess the whole escaping thing didn't re really work out. They just all lost their brains. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this just goes back. I wanna, like, l let me just see if I missed any sort of detours here. Like any places I can also go. <clears throat> yeah, that opened. And yeah, that's back here now. Okay. Yeah, and that's that. This is where this takes us, and I think there wasn't anything else over here, right? No. Okay, good. So yeah, you know, I have my nice sort of... Yeah, so my monitor setup now is just, I have a normal 16x9 widescreen monitor here as my primary monitor. I have a vertical monitor here, like a 16x10 vertical flat screen you know it's kind of nice for reading stuff and it's like you know in tate mode and uh, i have my crt over here which i have hooked up to both my modern computer and my window oh i should use the rapier for that what am i doing um which i have hooked up to both my modern computer and my windows 98 machine yeah, and this takes us back here. Okay, cool. All right. I guess... Um, I guess the river area is where we can go now, right? Let's do that. I do want to find a new crystal. I wonder if we should go back and activate the crystal. We're, losing, we're gonna lose a lot of progress if I don't do that. Or well, like if I die. Okay. Ah, let's risk it. Let's risk it. Famous last words, but uh, let's risk it. There we go. Yeah, we should definitely level up. Okay, what is this? The Feated Maya. Okay. Let's just get that weapon XP up a little bit. Oh yeah, I think this is how we are supposed to use it. Huh? But like just... Yeah, I think I was doing it wrong. Um, is this just taking us back? Or is this a different place? No, this is just... Or oh, is it? Is this the place we were? Yeah, 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 it is. Okay, this actually takes us back. You know what? I'm gonna be a coward. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go save. <laughs> Let's go through the extremely dark corridor. Ha! Ah, and now we can see again. Yeah, this game rules. This is good, folks. Lunacid gets my full endorsement. Like, if you like this kind of thing, if, like, yeah, if you like Kingsfield, then definitely check this out. This is good. This is good stuff. All right. Uh, 
Uh, where was that? No. Oh yes, right. Uh, no, that wasn't it. Right, over here, and let's go out to this outer area, yes. And this takes us back to the crystal. Slowly finding my way around. We should definitely also get some more speed going. Level up. Wow. 18 skill points. Jesus. Okay. We've not hit diminishing returns yet. No. Let's get a good bit of defense going. Put the rest into dexterity. We should probably put some points into resistance as well. Um... Yeah, long size to take to wear off. Yeah, we should actually do that. Okay, let's save, and here we go. So let's go back. Wrong way, this way. All right. You know, like sometimes playing games on the CRT is nice. Like playing this game on a CRT just feels right somehow. Let me just. Mm, you know what? I'm not gonna go back to the warp thing because I don't want anything, everything to respawn. You know what? It's also kind of nice to play a Kingsfield game that controls properly with mouse and keyboard. <laughs> underrated thing about this but uh so kingsfield is again a first person sort of ultima underworld like first person rpg for the playstation and um it was made before sort of the dual analog control scheme or like the analog sticks overall became a standard right so kingsfield is made to be controlled with like the d-pad and the shoulder buttons which uh, works. It works fine. Like, I, I got used to that, and it, you know, but it is very clunky. So you use um, the D-pad to move and turn, and uh, one set of shoulder buttons to strafe, and the other set of shoulder buttons is to look up and down. And that is really, you know, that takes up getting used to. Now obviously with like emulators and stuff you can you can remap stuff but yeah Okay now we're back here Defeated Maya right Let's go to the other direction first before we go to Defeated Maya Okay, yeah, this is this place. I know, I'm slowly getting getting the hang of this area. Okay, there's another guy. Another mummy. effect lasts longer than the graphical effect does which is kind of troublesome crikey there we go That's your head gone. There we go. Okay, maybe I'm coming around to the re to the rapier a little bit. I'm playing Dwarf Fortress, watching a dwarf ch child throwing a tantrum, cause minor civil war. Yeah, 
That's how that happens. I get that. Cause and effect, you know? Oh. Hey, there was something here. Ha! Ha! Heh! <laughs> Secret door. You're in the know, right? I'm not in the know. Should I be? VHS tape acquired. What? Okay. Uh, this suddenly went places I was not expecting. What's the VHS tape? Old storage box. Its function was forgotten long ago. Okay. Now, now it's it's being cute. Okay. Hey, I'm in the know. In the know about VHS tapes. Wonder if we we are going to find like a VCR at some point. Well, yeah, that was a bona fide secret. I guess. I mean, it was just in a room where there was nothing else, so it made sense to check the walls, but... Okay, there's nothing else here? Nope. Okay. Did I just level up, or did I also save? That's that's the big question. Okay. I guess we're just going to... We're going to do the... Uh, we're going to do the Souls game thing of... Let's try to press on and hope we are going to find a safe crystal soon. I think when we when we get to the new thing we might actually Once we get sort of to the feet at Maya maybe. We're going to Ah, oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I mean as long as it, as long as it is as it is just a minor civil war, that's fine, right? long as it hasn't destroyed your whole fortress. Decimated your entire population. Okay, there's something there. Before we go there, let's check out the rest of this area. Yeah, this still goes places, huh? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, this opens. Oh! Ah, this takes us to a new area. Okay, cool. Uh, so before we do this, the Feet at Maya. Okay, cool. So, reach the sewer. I got a... Uh, uh, the sewer, huh? I got a, an, an achievement for that. How nice. Okay. Before we do that, let's go here. Because there was something here. Yes, indeed. Stone Club. Uh, probably also a thing we can level up. Hey! Guy's got a nice little hammock here. So does the stone club level up? Probably, right? Yep, it does. So let's first level up the rapier. Finish with that. And then do the stone club, I would say. Okay. I think we've explored most of this. They were brawling on the stairs and tumbled down. Yeah, I mean... That's one of the old bar fight rules, right? Is to not brawl on the stairs. Lest you break your neck. Okay. So then let's just start exploring the feet at Maya. Oh, that's good music again. Yeah, I feel like this is just kind of nailing what it's going for. Okay, there's a rat. I just need to find a safe crystal, folks. Rest area, lower passage. Okay. So if it's not trolling me, I'm going to check out the rest area. Let's hope it is what it promises to be. Ah. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Do I need to do anything to restore this, I wonder? Yes! Hell yeah, okay. So, we have our next save and warp point. I 
I should not have warped to Wings Rest yet. Because I cannot level up the thing yet. Okay. Hey, friend. Isn't it pretty here? Yes, it is. I feel like I don't need to escape to the outworld as long as peaceful places like this exist. But I still want to help those who do. Be safe. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. Wonder what your agenda is. Hey! Say, Jay, did I ever tell you about those monks? About how those monks got banished here? No, you didn't. Way back during the Crusades, people of all sorts came down here with righteous fury. I guess they were afraid of an eventual uprising or something. And back then, there were still many ways out of here. Anyway, there was the sect of holy monks who wanted in on that action, but monks typically didn't fight and weren't allowed outside their monastery. So they all decided they would use their magic to help by summoning a demon. Yeah, that sounds good. Great plan. Fantastic. That's what you do. I think their plan was to kill it. But after the ritual, they were surprised to find out the demon was an... an infant instead of some giant brute. They couldn't bring themselves to kill her, so they actually raised her in the monastery. Is that her over there? After the Crusades ended, the church heard about it, and so they all ended up here. They built the sanctuary and lived here for a long while. But there were so 